train. Thank you for using. Holy moly, I am in Shinjuku Station. This is, I think, one of the busiest, or at least the busiest, train station in Tokyo. It carries over 2 million passengers per day. And I just spent about an hour trying to find a coin locker. There are heaps of them around, but some of them aren't big enough, and the ones that are big enough were full. So I had to go up and down the stairs with my luggage, and it's just one of the reasons why I don't like um, traveling alone, because my luggage is so heavy and I'm not the strongest person. So I finally found a locker. Wow, <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to Big Kamera to get a 32 gig memory card because this one's getting full. So what I've noticed here is that one, there are a lot of people biking on the streets. Everyone of all ages, all genders, an old man, and then you would have the mothers with the babies on those kinds of bikes. And then secondly, I've noticed that the places where you buy bikes are not sport shops. It's not a sport, it's like a lifestyle, it's a daily thing. And so they sell that in department stores where you also get a lot of things that you need day to day. I am very tempted to get a bike though. Like I have two bikes already, but the ones with the baskets and the really wide seats and like the leather details. This is what I'm gonna have for lunch today. Oh no, this one. Number 10. That chicken katsu that I had for lunch was like the best chicken katsu ever. And it was so cheap as well. I think that's going to be like one of my regular lunch places. It's right in the Shinjuku train station, so like underground. One of those places where you order with a vending machine and you give the ticket to the person. Um, and then they just give you the food and you sit around like the counter. So it's really catered towards people who are eating alone, which I really like. <laughs> A lot of places here, um, people eat by themselves as well. It was a really good lunch. I'm in Asakusa now. I just ran out of money on my um, IC card. <laughs> I put in 5,000 yen when I first arrived. And I just put in another 5,000 now. So how much is it? 77 yen is one dollar, so 5,000 is 65 dollars. Holy moly, I use 65 dollars just by travel, by train alone in five days? Well. really cute. It's like an alleyway and it's lined with um, markets, like little shops on either side. I think it would be a really cool place to buy souvenirs from. And you can also buy kimonos. So there's heaps of um, ladies looking around with kimonos. There's even a little girl looking around in a kimono. I think she is so kawaii. So much fun in Asakusa. I just went to like one of their drugstores and then just bought um, a couple of makeup items. That's my makeup shopping done. <laughs> I've bought quite a few souvenirs. It's really cool. It's like the cheap souvenir items. I like the classic key rings and Japanese prints. If you're looking to buy souvenirs for a lot of people, this is the place to go.
delicious dinner. Now I am going to Skytree to do some more sightseeing, take some more night photography. I don't actually know what the view will be like from up there because um, of the rain. I can't see the tower very well from the bottom because it's just real misty and raining. So hopefully the view will be worth it when I get up there. We'll see. I was right, you cannot see anything from up there. They have like a live camera. And so when I was buying my ticket, they told me um, that you can't see anything because it's raining outside. And so, change of plans, change of plans. Uh, I'm gonna go check in at the Airbnb. Okay, I'm back in Shinjuku station. I am picking up my luggage from the locker. A uh, big problem though, you remember how I couldn't find a locker and I went around like a really convoluted way? Yeah, I can't remember how I got there. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Wow. Oh my gosh, so funny. I was going down the escalator and I saw my locker. But the escalator went down two floors and the locker was like the floor in between. So I don't know how to get there. I'm gonna get my car. This is the busiest train station in Tokyo and I kid you not, it is busy. Like it is almost 9.30. There's so many people walking around, like where are they going? Okay, I found my locker. Now to take the train to my Airbnb and then walk with this massive ass luggage. <laughs> well, hello everybody. I am now in my Airbnb and it has been such a mission to get here, but um, it's 11 o'clock now. I'm just gonna set up my futon bed. It's so exciting. I'm just gonna set you down here and I'm gonna tell you about the adventure that I've been on. Firstly, I found it very difficult to locate my locker in Shinjuku station because that station, that train station is just massive. So that was problem number one. Problem number two, the floor that I was in where the locker was, it it has stairs and it does not have escalators or elevators so I had to carry my very very heavy suitcase down the stairs and to get to the train station I had to carry it up the stairs and it was very embarrassing because I am not a strong person at all and it was so heavy and there were so many people there. The place that I'm staying at now is like a 10 minute walk away from the train station and it was raining and I had to go through the small roads and it was just very difficult to carry it. And then when I got here, let me show you. This is the power plug in Japan and I thought it was the same one as the ones I have in America. So I brought my adapter that I got when I went to America last year, but oh, oh, oh it has a grounding plug. I didn't realize that until Today, because at my last Airbnb, they gave me an adapter to use, so I didn't. I, I only realized that at like um, 10:40 and have very low battery on my phone. I have no battery at all in my power bank. It's completely flat, so I needed to find a convenience store at 10:40 at night. There's a 7-Eleven just down the road, so I ran there got a charger, came back, and now we have a power station here. <laughs> I also got um, a tub of, I think this is yogurt, I'm not actually sure, but we'll find out tomorrow because this is my breakfast. All right, futon is made. So this place that I'm staying at is actually a little bit far away from the places that I wanted to go to. Um, I picked two different places so that I would do like all the places that are close to one area of Tokyo and then all the places that are close to the other area of Tokyo so it would be like week one in this area, week two in this area but um, I kind of changed it up a little the one that I was staying at previously that was actually very very convenient because it was so close to the train station um, and the trains there go everywhere to where I wanted to go this one is a little bit far away it turns out but it's a really really nice house so it's like a family house as well so they're staying downstairs on the ground floor um, and then there are three bedrooms up here. So I'm staying in one of them. I get my own private room, which is awesome. I don't get a mini fridge like the last one, but that was a little bit of a luxury. The reason why I clicked on this place, they have a traditional mat like this and you make your own futon, um, which I've seen in a lot of anime. 
I do like the bed cover, it's quite nautical. This is just a bedroom, it's just got the walls over there. My luggage don't look so messy. And this is the door, this is where I'm staying at this week. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.